Welcome to our brand new awesome natural pool at our Eco Lodge in Bali. What I mean by natural pool? No chlorine. This is fresh, clean, clear living water with no chlorine. We had wanted a pool for the Eco Lodge for years, but we were really worried about putting in a chlorine pool. We didn't like it. And we were kind of nervous about doing a natural pool because there's not much information out there about how to do it. Obviously, it's right here in front of our restaurant, so we couldn't afford to put something in that was going to be green and nasty. So it had to work. It had to work. In the end, three months in, I feel we can claim victory and say, this is working great. It's not brain surgery. Yeah, there are some rules to follow but it's absolutely doable. And we're in the tropics. Admittedly, we're up in the mountains with the cooler, but we're in the tropics. It stays pretty warm here most of the time. And this is working perfectly. So as you can see, the water in this pool is very clear. It's been running for three months now. There's very little maintenance involved. What we're looking at here is the wetland. This uses vetiver grass floating on pontoons and these reeds and papyrus planted into a gravel bed to help clean the water. It's natural processes that keep the water crystal clear like this. So I'm going to show you the roots under the vetiver grass here in the pontoon. Look at that. So this is part of the filtration system for the pool. These roots strip nutrients from the water. And nutrients are the enemy because nutrients cause algae to grow. So this is a beautiful thing. That's a fantastic filter. So the wetland, this wetland is one of the systems, and we have another one over there, which is a water flow system. The second treatment system, we call the waterfall system. It's off at the moment to make it easier for me to show you how it works. If you look in here, this tank is divided in two. This, the waterfall falls over here and down into this section. Now most of the water goes down there and has to come back up through this gravel medium. Some of it spills over the top here, highly aerated. That's not a problem. Most of it has to go down there, come up through the gravel, and then down the next waterfall and up through the gravel, and down through the next waterfall and up through the gravel. So you can see the gravel and the roots and the microbes, they're still growing now, this is all new, are doing a great job of cleaning the water while each waterfall vigorously aerates the water on its way back into the pool because oxygen is terribly important. This is still really new, it's still starting to grow. But uh, give it six months and this will be like a jungle. So we decided to create an organic shape for the pool. This is an eco lodge, so we like organic. This represents a beach, these curves, everything's organic. Also, water doesn't move in corners. Water moves in circles, so sharp corners and swimming pools are not a great idea. At the moment, neither of the systems is running, so the water is completely still and calm. And you can see very clearly, the water is just crystal clear. And I've got to tell you, it's much nicer to swim in this living water than it is in a chlorine pool. So I want to show you how we maintain the pool now. We've been running for three months. We've tried various things. We've done a bit of vacuuming. 
you don't like that, it wastes a lot of wood and we've had it to be unnecessary. So I'm going to show you now what it takes to keep the pool looking like this on a daily basis. And there's not much to it. Here we go. You can see, if you look carefully, I'm just brushing off a light film of algae and whatever's fallen out of the sky. So that's all it is. You do this. Just a light brush. I've left it for a couple of days so you can see what's happening. And once this stuff's up in the water, when the filters come on, the wetland and the waterfall, this stuff gets picked up by those filters and processed. So the little ecosystem that we've got going here. That's pretty much all there is to it. So you do this every day or two, and the job's done. sulfur in there just to add a little sulfur to the water. design or manage one of these, feel free to contact us via the website or send us an email.